Dub in space, checks back, Beth England scores, and Chelsea are level. Hi guys and girls, as an attacking player I've always worked hard on my ability to turn with the ball and to create attacking opportunities. Today our coaches are going to break down a range of turns in drills that you could use or adapt in your home. Have a go and send us your training videos using the hashtag HyundaiFC. Hi everyone and welcome back to Hyundai FC's Home Advantage. This week we are going to be working on turning. We hope there are some drills here that you can practice at home and remember to send us your videos. Stay safe, hope you enjoy. Hello and welcome to Turning Drill 1. For this drill, the setup is pretty straightforward. I'm going to have four cones or objects that are apart like so. Down at this end, we are one big side step apart and then going forwards, I'm going to be moving the ball forwards five or six yards before turning. The first turn that we are going to do today, I'm going to break down for you slowly and it's going to be the inside hook turn. So I'm going to dribble out with the ball. I'm going with my stronger right foot. When I get to the cone, I'm putting my foot over, round the ball and flicking back with the inside, big toe, and then taking a touch if possible with the outside of my other foot. So one more time, I'm dribbling out, nice and light on my feet, foot over the ball, outside of my other foot to take away. A little bit sharper this time, I come up over the ball, other foot to take away. The next turn is the outside hook. I'm gonna do this three times in a row, starting off slowly and improving on my speed. So I'm gonna come out slowly, I'm gonna step past the ball, foot then chops with the outside, and then take it back the other way with the same foot. Same again, chop over the ball, drive away with the same foot. Simple but effective stop turn. The next turn to practice is the step over turn. So I'm going to be driving out with the ball, pretending to make a pass or a shot. I'm then going to step over the ball, transfer my weight then, twist my shoulders back the other way, take away with the inside of my foot, back the other direction. So again, I'm coming up the sky, stepping over, twisting my body back round towards the ball to take it away. One more time, step over, take back the other way. This turn here is going to be the Cruyff turn. And this turn is all going to be about disguise. So I'm going to fake to pass or shoot and then quickly wrap my foot around the ball, dragging it back the other direction. Making a fake and pretending like I'm going to pass or shoot is going to be key. So I come up, fake like I'm going to shoot, turn back the other way. One more time, really overemphasize like I'm going to pass or shoot before dragging back. Use the arms to exaggerate, wrap your foot round, turn back, accelerate the other direction. Turning drill two. The setup is a square, roughly one step apart from each other. This can be bigger if needed. I've also got four obstacles on the outside. What I'm gonna start with is to dribble from the outside into the square and use the outside of my foot to turn right with my right foot. So I'm in, turning sharp outside of my boot. Get to the outside, outside of my boot again to turn. In, turning with the outside. Again, turning with the outside. Remembering when I turn on the outside, I'm going over the ball with my weight and chopping back to go and change direction. In again, change direction, chop. Another variation of this is combining two turns in the middle square. So I've made my square a little bit bigger. The first one, I'm going to do a step over turn, going back to the direction that I first came in. Then I'm L turning out to a different area. So in again, I'm in, step over turn, back to the same way, before performing an L turn and changing direction. One more time, in, step over turn, back, before L turn and change direction. For this progression here, I'm combining two turns. The first one will be an L turn, where I'm going forwards, facing forwards, drag back, and then flick to the side, coming out on the side gate. Then, foot in front, step over, take with the other foot. In, L turn, making that L shape, stop, 
over, take with the other foot. In, L turn, stop, over, take with the other foot. Back the other way. For this last one, I'm gonna challenge myself. I'm gonna dribble out to each obstacle and back into the middle, performing a different turn at each one. After I've turned on the outside, I must come back into the middle and change direction and go for another one. Here's my attempt. Here is the very skillful and Chelsea women's player Ramona Backman, showing us her turning and dribbling skills that she has been practicing. Welcome to drill number three on turning. The setup for this is that our cones will be three to four steps away from each other. And this is going to be my start point. My cones are going to be distant three or four steps away and on a slight angle for me to dribble out to before I perform my turn. It's as simple as this. Dribble out to the cone, turn, back to the start. Out to the second cone, perform the turn, back to the start. So on and so forth. The first turn we're going to practice is the Joe Cole turn. Oh, his goal, he's beaten two players, and Joe Cole has won the title for Chelsea! Now this one is a little bit more tricky. I'm going to come out to the first cone. I'm going to stand with my feet next to the ball, but to the side. As I then do this, I'm then going to twist my body. As I do this, my closest uh, foot to the ball, it's going to step past, I'm then going to twist my ball's body away, take back with my other foot, like so. If I come a little bit closer this time, I come up, have my body positioned to the side of the ball, I then step, twist, take the ball away. Step, twist, take the ball away. I'm now going to practice doing this on all four of these cones. This turn is going to be all about disguise. It's about coming out, disguising to pass, but rolling my foot over the top of the ball, transferring my weight, stopping at the other side, and then playing back with the same foot. Really work on your disguise and use your arms if possible. So it's there, fake to pass, back in the other direction. One more time, it's up there, fake to pass, drag, back in the other direction. I'm going to show the outside hook turn on my weaker left foot. Performing this on all four of the cones. So I come out, drive, step past, hook back, hook back. There, hook back. I'm going to challenge myself and I'm going to use the fake to pass turn. I'm going to go alternate feet, two on my left, two on my right. And I'm actually going to go with the furthest cone away this time. Here we go. For this last one, I'm going to challenge myself by keeping a time of how fast I can do it. I'm going to perform four different turns. Two turns are going to be the pretend pass turn. One turn will be a step over turn and the Joe Cole turn. Then I'm going to finish by dribbling back to the start, playing a one-two off my trusty partner here, opening up and finishing in the goal. Here I go.
So the last one for our turning, I've combined all three drills and put them into a circuit. So I have my dribbling at the start here, where I'm dribbling from one end to the other, come into the square, practicing my L turns in tight areas, before dribbling up in a straight line, up and back, before finishing in a goal. Can't wait to see your setup and for you to send them to us to see. Turning is a difficult skill to master, but we hope that we have shown you a few that you can be practicing at home. Practice these two or three times a week and get one that you are really happy with and confident enough to use in games. We would love to see your videos and efforts at this at home.